Good morning. We welcome you to God's house this morning. So glad to see all of you as today is uh, the day of Pentecost, uh, where we celebrate the Holy Spirit coming uh, into the presence of all of us, uh, giving us that faith that we can believe and confess that Jesus is our Lord. And so uh, this day we will have uh, our, our children and youth uh, helping lead service. Uh, so we are, are excited to have them part of uh, worshiping with us this morning. Uh, as it is uh, family day. And so after service, please join us for some activities and then uh, some food afterwards. Uh, so please uh, celebrate uh, today, kind of uh, kick off for summer. Uh, so uh, before we begin, let's just begin the word of prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for just another opportunity to come into your house uh, and to be reminded of the love that you have for us uh, in sending us uh, your helper. Uh, to make us believe in you and your son, uh, and then to have the confidence to go out and proclaim your name uh, to those uh, who might not know about you. And so we just ask for your blessing. Uh, be with all those who are serving you this morning, especially our youth and children, uh, and let us just be bold in uh, making it known that we love and believe in you. Uh, and so bless our time. It's in your name we pray. Amen. So I invite you to stand and greet each other uh, with those around you. Uh, we welcome all those that are online this morning. Welcome to service. And then you may still stand as we sing our first song, uh, Here I Am to Worship. We make our beginning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful. And kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia. Send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Hope in God, 
for I shall again praise him. My salvation and my God. All the earth worships you and sings praises to you. They sing praises to your name. With confidence, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord. For the Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. I confess my ignity and I am sorry for my sin. Make haste to help me, Lord, my salvation. I say to the Lord, you are my God. Give ear to the voice of my pleas for mercy, O Lord. We pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open and all desires are known and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. In repentance, let us now confess our sins unto our gracious God. Almighty God. Merciful Father, we acknowledge our sinful nature and repent of our sins in thought and in word and in deed. For the sake of Jesus our Lord, grant us your divine absolution, so that as your redeemed people, we be fit places for the indwelling of the Holy Spirit and serve you in time and for eternity. Have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Mighty God, our Heavenly Father, has had mercy upon us and has given His only Son to die for us and for His sake forgives us all our sins. And as a call and ordained servant of Christ and by His authority, I therefore forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. To them that believe on his name, he gives power to become the children of God and has promised them his Holy Spirit. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved. Grant this, Lord, unto us all. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O oh God, on this day you once taught the hearts of your faithful people by sending them the, them the light of your Holy Spirit. Grant us in our day by the same Spirit to have the right understanding in all things and ever, evermore to rejoice in his holy consolation. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and your Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated. So as we continue in our month of May here, we are just reminded of the forgiveness that we have in Christ uh, and that we then get to go out and proclaim that forgiveness uh, and loveness uh, to, to all of them around us. Uh, so let us say our memory verse uh, twice uh, this morning from Ephesians 4. Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. Ephesians 4, 32. And one more time. Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. Ephesians 4.32. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out into the spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones. And he led me around among them, and behold, they were 
there were very many on the surface of the valley, and behold, they were, they were very dry. He said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O God, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord to these bones, Behold, I will cause breath into you to enter you, and you shall live. And I will lay these sinews upon you and will cause flesh to come upon you and cover you with the skin and put breath into you. And I shall, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied, and I was commended. And I was prophesied, there was a sound, and behold, a rattling. And the bones came together, bone to its bone. And I looked, and behold, there was sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them. Son of man, and say to the Son of man, and say to the breath, thus says to the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these stood on their feet, and exceedingly greet the army. Um they he then he sent to me, Son of man, these bones are whole are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, Our bones are dried up and our hope is lost. They are we are clean cut off. Therefore the therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says to the Lord, Behold, and I will put my spirit within you and you shall live, and I will place you in, my, in your own land. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. I have spoken, and I will do it, declares the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second reading... Today comes from the book of Acts, the second chapter. When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. And suddenly, there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And divided tongues as a fire appeared to them and rested on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews. Devout men from every nation under heaven. And at this sound, the multitude came together, and they were all bewildered, because each one was hearing them speak in his own language. And they were amazed and astonished, saying, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in his own native land? Parthenians and Medes and Amalites and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia... Phygeria and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabians. We hear them telling in our own tongues the mighty works of God. And all were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others, mocking, said, They are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with of the eleven, lifted up his voice and addressed, it, addressed them, Men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and give ear to my words. For these men are not drunk, as you suppose, since it is only the third hour of the day. But this is what uttered through the prophet Joel. And in the last days it shall be God declares, and I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old man shall dream dreams. Even on, even on my male servants and female ser servants. In those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy, prophesy. And I will show wonders in the heavens above and the signs on the earth below, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall, the sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the day of the Lord comes, the great and magnificent day, and it shall come to pass that everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
This time I invite all our children to come and join us for a children's message this morning. Well, I asked Pastor if I could come up and have you sing a few songs that we've been doing in Sunday school. And first, I thought we could sit exactly where we always sit during our Sunday school time so you know exactly what we're doing. So you can come sit over here. Oh, and you girls are right there. Perfect. Let's see. We've got everybody. Is Lapita here this morning? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Well, oh, okay. Well, tell her the moment would be here because I'd really like her. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, anyway, we have been learning lots of, lots of songs this year, even though it's been a little different. And we always know that all of our stories and all of our songs come from the... the the Bible, and we always have our Bible here, and maybe even you'll recognize, Lena, would you play something for us? See if you recognize this song, guys. Let's see. Can you sing it along with me? Ready? The B-I-B-L-E Yes, that's the book for me. It stands alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Oh, very nice. Thank you, Lena. Oh. <laughs> and we also know that we've been learning the wor words and song, thy word is a lamp unto my feet. And sometimes, we will hold things up. So could we do that this morning? Cole, could you hold the Bible for us? And I think, yep, and, and you'll get helped when to pick that up and hold it. So we have the Bible, and we need to have a lamp. So Lapita, would you hold the lamp here? Would you please stand up right next to Cole? And Oliver, maybe you want to come sit over here on this side, would you please? Okay. So now we also need, let's see, am I right? Yeah, there's a, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I didn't have to bring your shoe. Usually I take Cole's shoe, don't I? Yes, I brought my own shoe this morning, okay? Let's see, Lena, could you hold the shoe? Okay, and you could sit right over there. Then, hmm, I have a light here. Would you come and hold the light? Do you think you could turn it on? There you go. You go stand right over on the other side of Lena, please. Okay, and we have one more. Would you like to help us? No, you don't. Okay, very good. Um, I'm hoping one of you would like to. Which one? Oh, you're both. Okay, can you share that map and go stand right over there? You're going to do it? Okay. Now, Oliver, are you going to help me to sing a little? Okay, maybe... Do you think we could drag this right over? I don't know. How far do we go? Maybe we'll slide over this way. Okay, and back at the, yep, there we go. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. And you hold it up when you hear that part. She'll help you. Okay. Thy word. Thy word. Thy word. Thy word. Is a lamp to my feet. Thy word. Thy Thy word, thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And a light to my path. Thy word, thy word, thy word, thy word is a lamp to my feet. all of your things down right here and then you could go sit where you were there perfect 
Now, the last few weeks, we've been talking about God's kingdom and that we're all part of God's kingdom. And do you remember? What? That this is cool? Oh, it's yours. Okay. But you have to do the song. Can you sit over here? Okay. Okay, so now we're going to practice. And out of respect for the Holy Gospel, I invite you to stand if you are able. And the Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 15th and 16th chapters. Jesus said, When the Helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness about me. And you also will bear witness because you have been with me from the beginning. I did not say these things to you from the beginning because I was with you. But now I am going to him who sent me and none of you asked me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment, concerning sin because they do not believe in me, concerning righteousness because I go to the Father and you will see me no longer, concerning judgment because the ruler of this world is judged. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, for he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. Therefore, I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. And this is the gospel of the Lord. We continue with our next song, There is a Redeemer.
may be seated. What an inspiring service. Great, great, love it. Brandy, that solo was great. Did you see Miss Johnson crying? You really moved her. She didn't know what hit her. <laughs> when you all delivered that big ending of the special, the applause shook the house. Hallelujah! I mean, isn't it absolutely awesome to be a Christian? There are just so many things to love about following Jesus. For instance, the fellowship. Yes, the fellowship. The freedom of forgiveness. Forgiveness. Complete grace and mercy. Yes. yes. So are we happy? Yes. Are we excited? Yes. Well, let's go do something about it. It's time to take the message of Jesus to the whole world. It's time to share our faith outside these church walls. Now wait a minute, everybody. You come back here right now. has done so much for us. Surely we can share his love with the rest of the world, starting right here in our own community. Stop that. Back in formation. Now. Come on. You can do it. I'll bet that each one of you knows someone who needs the love of Jesus in their lives. Don't you? Uncle Thomas got to drop by church a long time ago. Maybe I should go see him. I have a friend who really loves his God. Maybe if you would like to talk, I can help you if you need any food or anything carried to someone in need. I went to a neighbor's Southwest church. I never invited them, but I guess I could. My dad and I had an argument six months ago and haven't talked since. See, there's a whole world of people for you to reach out to. So what do you say? Are you with me? Will you show someone the love of God? Yes. What? Yes. One more time. Yes. All right. Get, get your hands together on three. One, two, three. Go, Go team. team. Good job, guys. Way to go. You made my job easy this morning. But I will uh, talk a, a very briefly uh, about, about the day of Pentecost. And as, as the kids kind of uh, shared with us the idea of sharing Jesus. Now when I say, let's go out and share Jesus, who's with me? intimidating and sometimes scary to, to, to take what we have learned here on Sunday, to hear the wonderful words of, of Jesus. We get all excited. We're very good at talking about church things within these walls, aren't we? That is very good. <laughs> okay, it is, it is okay to talk during the sermon today, okay? Yeah, we, can, we can talk about it. We can share those things of, boy, Randy just moved us to tears with that solo. <laughs> and, 
and, and, and the wonderful things that, that, that we heard and, and saw, sometimes taking it outside these doors is a little, a little frightening. And I will admit that it is scary for me as well. My first experience ever with kind of going door to door with, with sharing Jesus was on my vicarage year. I was three weeks into my vicarage time, and our pastor and the church that we had kind of had addresses of some people that had kind of visited uh, our church and that we could go and, and visit. And so the person that was supposed to go with me didn't show. Surprise, surprise. So it was me. So I took Megan, because she was about two and a, or about, how old were you? I don't know, seven, six. She was young. She was cute. I didn't have to do much talking. And so I remember the first time walking up to the door, and this is my exact prayer. Please, God, let them not be here. <laughs> so I can go back. God didn't answer that prayer. <laughs> they answered the door. Church of the Reformation, here's my daughter. Isn't she cute? <laughs> I want to, to continue to invite you to, to Church of the Reformation. And, and then we had a wonderful conversation. We, we had to talk about things. And, and so as, as we hear from the, the reading this morning, we see here from, from Acts and, and from John that, that Jesus promises to send a helper and sometimes we forget about it. And we as Lutherans aren't very good at talking about the Holy Spirit. We think they're it's a little difficult. We, we see the Pentecostals where they get a little excited about the Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit is an amazing thing. And, and we see what it does for, for Peter. Let, let's look at Peter. And we know that, that Peter is kind of the, the speak or really thinking. We see here that, that he makes that great confession about who Jesus is. And he's, he's God's son. And then when Jesus says that he has to go and, and die, well, that's, that's not what you're supposed to be doing, Jesus. And, and Satan, or that Jesus says, get behind you, Satan. And then Peter also says that I will never leave you, Jesus. I will never abandon you. And then a few hours after that, he denies him three times. So here is a man who is empty. And then he gets up and speaks a wonderful, powerful sermon. It is a great Lutheran sermon, if you look at it. It has both law and gospel. For in this sermon, and it's shortly after what we just heard from uh, our reading from Acts, where Peter then talks about how these same people that he is speaking to, these Galileans, they are the ones that killed Jesus, that they sent him to the cross. The law convicts them. Then he reminds them that that same man who was killed on the cross, that he is alive. And because he is alive, you have forgiveness. That helper Holy Spirit is within Peter. And we see that as evidence where he is speaking and people with all, from all sorts of languages and from all parts of the country are there and can understand what he is saying. So each time when I get up here to speak and to preach, pray for the Holy Spirit to guide me. Give me the words to continue to say. That Holy Spirit, that same Holy Spirit that is in me, is the same one that is within you as well. The one that Jesus promised to send to all of us. So that we can take what we have heard from inside these walls and go out and proclaim it to the world. If you were listening to that message that the kids gave, Notice that they weren't going to do the evangelism model that Pastor Brett had to do, where he had to go and knock on a stranger's door. Stranger came more than 
affair. They all had a relationship with some that they could do. It was a family member. It was, I have food, I can give it to people. It's relationships that already had been established. And I'm sure as we pray each week that sending prayer, that you know of someone that maybe is struggling in their faith, or maybe doesn't know about Jesus, you then can share something with them. Tell them about what you learned in church, or Sunday school, or Bible study. And watch where the conversation goes. But know that you have someone that is with you every step of the way and will give you words to say. It's okay if you stumble. It's okay if you mess up. Because God will use that. So proclaim his name. Today, as we are reminded that we have a helper that is with us every step of the way, you don't have to be scared. And, and you can still, still be scared. My knees still sometimes rock when I have to get up and preach. I've been doing this now for nine years to count my year of victory. Public speaking is it's a little scary at times. But then when you get to start speaking, there's something about the Holy Spirit that will calm you and lead you. And know that we, you look around, are with each and every one of you. We have your backs and we will continue to be with you. Help you as well. So let us continue to be bold. Let us be like the end of that skit where we get excited to go out these doors to the mission field to tell people about the best thing this world has to offer, which is Jesus. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. That because of that gift, we can continue to proclaim you to this world. And give us the confidence, the boldness to continue to proclaim your name to people that we know who might not know you or are struggling in their faith so that their relationship with you can be strengthened and they can hear about the wonderful words of salvation and life and forgiveness that is found in you and your son. Help us to be bold and confident in sharing you with this world. In your name we pray. Amen. So I invite you to stand if you are able and let us continue in joining and singing our next him, Come Thou Almighty King.
we're joined together in confessing the words of the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. The third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for the whole people in God, in Christ Jesus, for all the people according to their needs. Grant your blessing, O Lord, on the church here and, all, and in all places, that you will confirm in the gospel, inspire it with unity, unity and concord, and extend and prosper it throughout the world. Grant that the Holy Spirit can continuously, continually call, gather, enlighten, and sanctify the church and keep it in one true faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Confident of your care, we pray for our families those who share in our Christian fellowship and join with us in worship, and for all who are part of the household of faith. Also, we pray for those with special concerns and needs this day, those who are hospitalized, those who are grieving, the unemployed and the underemployed, the chronically ill and shut in, and all those in need, especially those in this congregation, for Donald, Marlis, Rodney, Roger, Sarah, Chase, Brian, Joanne, Dawn, Barb, Steve, Nicole, Karen, John, Robert, Cody, Jim, Arlene, Wayne, and Lee. Grant that the Holy Spirit move us to be those who live out our gospel calling and deeds of love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless, we pray you in the nations of the world that there will be times of peace and security. Remember in your grace our schools, hospitals, homes for the aged, that all charitable institutions. Bless those who minister to human need, whether of body, mind, or spirit, and grant them wisdom, strength, and love for you and those in need. Their care, let your blessing rest upon the seed time and harvest commerce and industry, leisure and arts and culture of our people. Take under your special protection those whose toil is difficult or dangerous and be with all who contribute in the well-being of our society. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Lord Jesus, you give us so much to rejoice in, especially those who celebrate a birthday this week. For Jalen, Penny, Scott, Pastor Brett, Camila, Randy, Lane, Brady, Arliss, and Roger. We also thank you for your continued blessings upon marriages, especially to Donovan and Allison, Chad and Sheila, 
Tom and Paula, and Alex and Lindsay, who celebrate another year of marriage this week. Merciful God, we thank you for all those faithful people whose words and actions have guided us in the past, especially remembering those no longer with us on earth, who now share in your eternal presence by the working of your Holy Spirit, direct us to walk your servant way throughout our lives until that day when we share in marriage supper of the the lamb and your glorious presence in heaven amen, amen. you may be seated as we now uh, take the time to offer up our offering uh, just a reminder that uh, you also, it's in our, our kind of our bulletin on our website. If you would like to give uh, electronically, uh, you may sign up for that uh, to kind of help out. Uh, if you forget or something, you can always uh, have that uh, taken right out of your checking account. So if you need more information, you can see me uh, for that. But we just ask you to take this time uh, to reflect on this uh, video here, just talking about uh, what this day is all about in the day of together in praying the prayer the Lord has taught us to pray in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not Let us join together in saying our sending prayer. Be reminded uh, that we have that gift of the Holy Spirit to go out and proclaim uh, the wonderful message of Jesus, of forgiveness and life to those who might not know. And so as we think and pray this, uh, think of someone who needs to hear this message of Jesus uh, as we pray, Lord, lay some soul upon my heart and love that soul to me. And may I Now receive our Lord's benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. Will look upon you with his favor and grant you his peace. Amen. We include with our final song, Build Your Kingdom Here.
round of applause, Helen and Felice. Thank you man, very much for that. Uh, and, and we invite you to join us uh, for kind of family days. Am I taking your thunder here, Emily? A little bit, yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm not gonna, you can do the rest. Um, but uh, just a couple things to draw your attention to. Uh, just a reminder, next Sunday is uh, Memorial Day. Uh, so after service, we will head out to the, to the cemetery uh, for our um, Memorial Day kind of service. Also then, Monday, uh, it, the, the Lincoln will come and, and do their uh, service there. I think it's the same time, like 9, 15, 9, 30. If you show up at 8, 30 and bring a, your breakfast, you'll, you'll be able to see it. Because um, who knows when they're going to come. Uh, but they'll head out to Elmwood and then um, come, come to our uh, service for that. Uh, also, just a reminder that um, I don't remember. Roof. Roof, yes. Uh, so we are are continuing to, to fundraise for our roof. I think we're up around 10,000? Not, Not quite. I don't know about that. 5,000? At least. Oh, maybe I'm throwing in 5,000. Um, <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, me. Uh, so yeah, we're continuing to raise that. Uh, we're trying to get the 15,000 uh, for that. Uh, so continue to, to offer if you would like to help contribute to that. Um, I think shortly they should be here to, to start fixing the uh, roof for us. So we'll continue to, to campaign for that. Uh, and, and it's all you, Emily. I stole it. All right, um, so today after church, you all are welcome to stay um, and join us. We have some different um, activities and projects to work on if it's not raining. Um, we have chalk and bubbles for outside. Um, so join us for that. And then at 11 o'clock, we will um, enjoy some lunch of hamburgers, hot dogs, and ice cream sundaes. So join us for that. Um, graduate recognition, if you or somebody you know is graduating from any level of school this year or um, from the winter, please email the office um, by tomorrow. And then in two Sundays, um, on the 6th, we will recognize them during worship. That is all I have. All right. Uh, and so just so you are aware, uh, the email went out on Thursday. Uh, but starting next week, uh, masks will be optional. Uh, so for those that have been vaccinated, uh, you can certainly come and socially distance but not wear a mask. Uh, we're not going to be policing it. It is up to you, uh, your comfort level. Uh, to do that, uh, the mask will be optional. Uh, feel free to continue to wear your mask if that is where your comfort level is. Uh, I will continue to wear one, uh, just kind of uh, so that it's okay to wear a mask, uh, especially for, for Carrie and, and the girls to kind of finish up with school and stuff. Uh, but it's going to be a culture shock. Uh, I was up in, in Walker. Thank you very much. Uh, we finally got to enjoy Carrie and I a little time away uh, for that past appreciation. Uh, but it was weird walking into a store without a mask on uh, and to see people without a mask. So it's going to take a little getting used to. Uh, but if you are comfortable in coming to church without a mask on, uh, starting next Sunday and moving forward, uh, we will continue to offer that. Uh, so thank you for wearing your mask uh, today uh, for help uh, with the youth as they have left service today. Uh, but starting next week, we'll, we'll start uh, hopefully the end of masks. And maybe by the end of the summer, masks will never have to be a thing again. And we'll have a big mass burning party um, for that. Uh, so we'll keep praying for, for continued uh, lowering cases and getting back to normal. So have a blessed rest of your day. Please join us for, for service. Uh, and if you see Jalen Wowen, it's her birthday. She has a little pink in her hair, I think. Um, so she's hard, won't be hard to miss. Uh, wish her a happy birthday. Do I wave to us, Jalen? <laughs> What? It's blue, not pink. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. It is blue. <laughs> it's a great week to have a birthday, isn't it, Jana? Yeah. Uh, and if you want to join uh, Pastor Brett on, on Friday for a little uh, celebration of, of Pastor Brett's birthday, uh, we're going to be at Junkyard from 6 to 8. Is that a big surprise? No, I'm saying wrap it up. I'm going to talk forever. <laughs> oh, it's time to go. Do you have a question, Taya? No? There she goes. Have a blessed rest of your day. Thank you.